All right, welcome to a brand new series that I'm introducing, man. Tyree Pickens, a trouble kid from South Florida. You know, if you are from South Florida, you got two choices in life down there, man. You either make you or break you, man. You either dead or in jail. And this for this kid, he was definitely heading down the wrong path. So his parents shipped him off to his uncles. Well, his uncle set him straight, man. Where his uncle made him use his talents, his God-given abilities. So hope you like the hope you like the new series that I'm introducing, man. If you like it, smash that thumbs up button, man, and hope y'all like it, man. Here we go. And where I'm from, you either got two choices in life. You either make it or you don't. You got the right path, you got the wrong path. Looking for me, it was not too late for me. I was heading down the wrong path. But my dad told me, son, you better choose the right path before it's too late. So luckily. I did. And some of my friends, they was less fortunate. I'm just blessed, man. Blessed I made it out alive. Got some breaking news right here. One of the two teens wounded last week in a shooting at Miami Carroll City High School has died. 16-year-old Cambrell Manning died from the injuries he suffered in last Thursday's shooting. The other teen shot Trainerd Gray was treated at the hospital and released. Police are also saying today they have arrested the alleged gunman. 17-year-old Frederick Parks was arrested today, and police say the motive is believed to have been an ongoing feud between the parties. Even with the productive he had during the season, sent behind four and five star recruits on the same team, this kid felt like he deserved a chance, man. Only being rated the three star and ESPN rivals in 247 sports, he felt disrespected, man. But he did get three offers from three different colleges UConn, Michigan State, and Old Dominion. So, as you can see, he got two choices of how that's high on his list. So, Hope made some choices, but he felt down about himself. As you all know, it's a special talent that comes out of Florida. Florida, South Florida, whatever. And you got all kinds of players. Antonio Callaway, Dalvin Cook, Mari Cooper, Teddy Bridgewater, Devontae Freeman, 
DRC, arguably the best corner, Patrick Peterson. Another one, Xavier Rose. And then best of all, Antonio Brown, man. Ultimately, it came down to two schools, Old Dominion and Michigan State. UConn, heck, they pulled the offer from him. So he knew he had to get some advice. And what better way to get the person that set him straight? His uncle. So that's exactly what he did. Sat down with his uncle. Had a long, long talk about what school to pick. His uncle told him, hey, I done what I could do. You need to choose. So you know what? I went home, slept on it. And what do you know? He was right. I did sleep on it, but I had to catch a late flight. Had to make my choice at the game, actually. I thought it would be interesting to make it at the game, so <laughs> it should be fun. It definitely should be fun, man. I'll see y'all there. Yeah, that's right. My decision. I ended up to Michigan State.